Max Verstappen versus Charles Leclerc, the battle that we all wanted to see at the start of the year and the battle which we thought we were seeing at the start of the year. The Red Bull, Ferrari rivalry and battle for the championship would have been a great way to kick off the new regulations, the new era of Formula One which was so hyped and so anticipated by everybody. And we got that at the start. We saw Charles Leclerc looking extremely strong, very good, looking like a hot contender for the championship, looking like it was going to be a Leclerc versus Verstappen championship. But obviously, Max now has the championship after what did end up being quite a dominant season. I rate Max Verstappen very highly. I do rate him above Charles Leclerc, obviously, at the moment. And I wanted to talk about it because I was thinking the other day about Charles Leclerc and Ferrari's star driver and why I always just have more confidence and I just feel like Max is always going to come out on top when those two fight. Now, I want to take you back to Melbourne, the Australian Grand Prix, which Charles Leclerc basically dominated all weekend, a grand slam, a fantastic performance, and I left the track thinking, okay, Ferrari are on here, we have a good points lead, Charles Leclerc is performing very well, Red Bull look to have some reliability problems, and I really think Ferrari and Leclerc are going to get it done this year like I predicted. And how wrong I was. And it is going to be kind of hard to explain why I have such a high opinion of Verstappen's driving ability, because there are a multitude of things that I want to go through. With Charles Leclerc this year, we have seen a mixture of his own mistakes and also Ferrari as well, really not doing him any favors. That might be down to pit stops, reliability, and just strategic errors that just have caused mayhem on the internet and among the Ferrari fan base. Now, Max Verstappen for me is the best driver on the grid because I feel like he is so dependable and he very rarely makes a mistake. And if he does make a mistake, I still feel like his race isn't over. I still feel like that doesn't matter. He'll still win. For example, Hungary, he had a spin and still managed to win the race very easily. And there was kind of no doubt. In fact, when Max makes a mistake like that and he is given a disadvantage, you kind of get excited as to what is necessary now going to unfold. Are we going to see another Verstappen charge, another class top shelf performance from Max? Most likely. I feel like Charles Leclerc is also a fantastic driver and someone that Ferrari were very keen to get into their main seat. I always remembered Ferrari as being that team that goes for proven drivers in top teams or world championship winning drivers, drivers who already have a title. When Ferrari decided to promote Leclerc to a Ferrari seat, I thought, okay, Ferrari clearly are invested in him because, well, he is very good and Ferrari must be extremely confident in his ability. Looking towards the future, potentially after the Sebastian Vettel Ferrari tenure. And in 2019, Charles Leclerc, I think, delivered. I thought he was fantastic in 2019. We saw him battle with Max Verstappen and those two were entertaining as hell. I really enjoyed their battles. I think everybody did because it was those two young guys in top teams now fighting it out with each other. We know that through their junior years in karting, actually, as we all know, they had met many times and raced each other. So to see them in Formula One was a very exciting prospect to see these two young guys who are clearly both exceptionally talented fight each other in F1. But I think because I've seen Max be so good for so long in a top team for a longer period than Charles Leclerc, that might have something to do with my process as to why I'm more confident in Max maybe because I've seen more of Max. 2020 was a bit of a disastrous year for Ferrari. It just was a bit of a letdown. But in 2021, we obviously saw Ferrari make big improvements, but they weren't fighting for the title with Hamilton and Verstappen. Whereas Verstappen, we saw him pretty much, I'd consider in his prime in 2021, fighting for that championship to take down Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. So seeing Max in his prime and win two straight championships has just further made me think, all right, 
It made me think, okay, even if Max doesn't have the very best car, I think he's still my favourite to win the race. We've seen performances from Max which have really just made me shake my head in disbelief at times. Suzuka, as a recent example, messed up the start and still took the lead into turn one in those horrible conditions. Now that was something I just, I mean, I got up off the couch because it was so impressive and it's something that is just like, that's Max Verstappen in a nutshell. And drivers like that, I feel like that's why Max will always have that extra edge in terms of who I prefer, who I'm more confident in, whose ability I think is stronger when it matters, when it's on the line and you're fighting for a win, and more importantly, a championship. Now, this isn't me hating on Leclerc, by the way. I have a very high opinion of Leclerc. I just think Max is that good. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, and maybe you prefer Charles Leclerc, I want to ask you, if you had an F1 team, if you started your own F1 team, who would you take? Charles Leclerc or Max Verstappen? Because I know who I'd take. I think it's a pretty easy decision. I think when we saw Leclerc at the start of the season performing so well, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see more of that. There have been times where I've seen Leclerc on it, and I think if he keeps performing like this, he is on par with Max. He can fight Max. He can beat him. But we don't see it enough and consistently enough. And yes, that might have something to do with Ferrari as well. But time will tell, and the future is very important. I hope next year it's a little bit closer. I hope Ferrari get it together and tie in their loose ends because I want to see these two go at it. It might change my opinion and Leclerc might be on the same level as Max in terms of the confidence I have in them as a driver. So let me know your opinions and comments below. I look forward to reading them. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.